This video is about the default range of a Lilygo T Echo with the Meshtastic firmware. These devices, as you can see here, are really small. Height, sorry, length of about five inches. Height is a little, is about an inch, and the width is about two inches. So, not big devices. The antenna itself is like two inches. So, how far can it go? I'm glad you asked. I performed two range tests at two different times and at two different places. Both places, however, were a flat open field. There are multiple variables that go into how far a device can go, including height, antenna, power output, etc. I wanted to get the absolute standard of standards. How far can the default device on the default setting right after a hot and ready factory reset can go with its default antenna? So, we found that out. In the first test, again in a flat open field, it was 51 degrees outside, there were scattered clouds, there was no snow on the ground. We sent 32 test signals as I walked from one end of the field to the other. Being the first test, I didn't know how far it could actually go, so I kind of just slowly walked, mistake, and we received 28 signals. So around the 920 feet mark, I stopped receiving the signals. And when I walked back to the 920 feet mark, I got the signals again. That is the same kind of test I performed for the second round. Visualization of what 920 feet looks like. Say you own this field. Your house is mere. 920 feet according to this Google Maps, is not even halfway through your field. Again, this is a huge random field. I don't want to dox myself, so I literally just picked random spots I thought would be okay to kind of mirror how far the distance is. For the second test, again, it was a flat open field. This time, however, it was 33 degrees outside it was mostly cloudy. There was snow on the ground. It was freezing, and I ran half a mile in freezing weather for you. You're welcome. We sent 26 test signals because I did not walk this time. I was running because it was cold. Out of the 26, I received 21, stopping around 1,201/2 feet. Again, I worked. I walked further past that, noticed the signal was longer sending. I probably should point out I had the signal sending every 20 seconds. So every 20 seconds I was getting a signal from my other radio. And once that signal stopped sending, I simply walked back until I got it again, which was around the 1,201 feet mark. Here is the distance from the second test. This is not the location I performed the test, but it gives you a rough idea of how far the test actually went. This is like a suburb area. I just happened to find that was, uh, was kind of neat. But again, this test was performed in open field. So, I know this is not a foolproof test. I know there are so many other variables that go on to this, but I, I think because the material and video evidence <laughs> is simply not there to prove how far a mistastic can really go because I've I've talked to people who say because they're on a mountain they get like 30 miles they have an improved antenna but they get like 30 miles with the t-beam I've talked to people who can't go two feet from their house with the same device so be because the stories vary so much, I wanted to show from my own experience what I think the default range is for one of these devices. Simply because 
there's just no video out there kind of like it, I guess. Let, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Um, did I do this wrong? Should I have done more tests? I don't live near mountains, but I did drive a ways. I'll throw in my life. I admitted I got a nice lake picture. I'll throw that here for my travels. But I think this is a good default standard. This is the standard software. I use the standard setting, which is long fast. I use the standard antenna, which is like two inches. I used a basic cheap device that anybody can get their hands a hold of. The, the Liligo T Echo, I chose that because it requires no assembly other than putting the antenna on and you'll probably have to factory reset it because the, sometimes both of mine when it came from the, the um, supplier it had junk data on it for their testing purposes and I wanted to get rid of that so cleared that off. I think this is a really good baseline of how far this device can go because you can gauge this how much more range you will get or how less range you'll get depending on where you're at and what's around and the temperature I found out through study that the colder the temperature, the farther those signals will go because during a temperature inversion, the warmer air layer acts like a cap, trapping the cooler air, causing the radio waves to bend and travel further than usual. Do with that information what you will. I hope this was helpful. I hope this gave you an actual standard deep like something to go off of anyway as always thank you so much for watching don't perish and catch the next video bye